Thank you for coming. You wanted to see me? Yes, youngling. Have a seat. I hear you've been busy of late. Ayla and I work to avenge Skior's death. Your hearts are full of grief, and my own weeps at the loss of Skior. But his death was avenged long ago. You have taken more lives than honor demanded. The cycle of retaliation may continue for some time. In any case, I have a task for you. Have you heard the story of how we came to be werewolves? Skior said it was a blessing from her scene. Aye, that sounds like him. As in all matters of faith, though, the reality is more complicated than one believer would tell you. So what is the truth, then? The companions are nearly 5,000 years old. This matter of beast blood has only troubled us for a few hundred. One of my predecessors was a good but short-sighted man. He made a bargain with the witches of Glenmoral Coven. If the companions would hunt in the name of their lord, Hirsin, we would be granted great power. And they became werewolves. They did not believe the change would be permanent. The witches offered payment, like anyone else. But we had been deceived. But aren't you more powerful now? The witches didn't lie, of course. But it's more than our bodies. The disease, you see, affects not just our bodies. It seeps into the spirit. Upon death, Werewolves are claimed by Hirsing for his hunting grounds. For some, this is a paradise. They want nothing more than to chase prey with their master for eternity. And that is their choice. But I am still a true Nord, and I wish for Sovngarde as my spirit home. Is there a way to cure yourself? That's what I've spent my twilight years trying to find out. And now I've found the answer. The witch's magic ensnared us, and only their magic can release us. They won't give it willingly, but we can extract their foul powers by force. I want you to seek them out. Go to their coven in the wilderness. Strike them down as a true warrior of the wild. And bring me their heads, the seat of their abilities. From there, we may begin to undo centuries of impurity. Am I to do this alone? You shall have no shield, brother, this time. But the spirit of Isgamor goes with you to restore the honor of his legacy. Talos guide you, lad. Kotlak's goal is a noble one, and he's been good to us. If we can help him save his soul from Hercene, it's our duty to do so. I feel like a cat in a kennel here. You want to ask me something? Any thoughts? There is dog hair everywhere. All set? By the blood. I didn't know. I felt so negatively about the companions. Especially after all they've done. With lycanthropy and that ritual. Now it turns out things are much more complicated. I don't know how you feel about your lycanthropy. But it seems like there's more to it than Ayla initially let on. Let's just do this task for Kodlak. Then we'll try to piece what we can together as we go by. Gosh. 
sure to lost this way. Do we have all the hags heads we need? Maybe we should collect more while we are here. been? Where have you been? I was doing Codlac's bidding. I hope it was important, because it means you weren't here to defend him. The Silver Hand. They finally found enough courage to attack your Vasker. We fought them off, but the old man, Codlac, he's dead. Was anyone else hurt? No, but they made off with all our fragments of Wuthrad. But you and I are going to reclaim them. We will bring the battle to their chief camp. There will be none left living to tell their stories. Only songs of your Vasker will be sung. We will avenge Kodlak, and they will know terror before the end. The Silver Hand will pay for this, my friend. We will make sure of it. There's no doubt that the Silver Hand deserve everything that's coming to them, but let's try not to let vengeance blind us. It's what Kodlak would want.
How could they do this? It's so cruel. What now? Well, I'm here if you need me. Walk with the army.